morning children welcome back to the online class of shri gogulam public school guruvayu i am swati your it ma'am children i hope you all are fine there and in our last class we have learned how to insert sound clips to our presentation and today we are going to learn how to insert video clips to our presentation so that your presentation will become more engaging to the audience not only that today we will learn how to use action button so what is action button yes it is a built in button shape through which we can connect to web page files in our computer or you can connect to your slides or you can connect to a email address okay so let's learn how to do those things in our presentation first one is inserting video clips children powerpoint allows us to insert a video onto a slide and play it during your presentation to make your presentation more better okay and not only that you can also edit the video and customize its appear appearance so let's see how can we insert video clips from our computer or you can also add videos from the online websites like youtube okay so let's see so first you have to select this insert tab in the media group you can see the video drop down arrow from that select the video on my pc option because we are selecting videos that are present in our pc and there you can see another option like online video it helps us to import videos to your presentation from several websites like youtube okay so now we are selecting that video on my pc option and here you can see a insert video dialog box will appear just like this from there you have to locate the file or locate the video file and click on insert option okay so after selecting the desired video file click on insert option and then you can see that video file will be inserted into your presentation and you can see there a play button and you can click on it to start playing that video or you can click anywhere on that timeline to jump to any part of the video just like what we are doing uh, while seeing videos in our youtube okay yes not only that you can also format that inserted video how by clicking the format tab and playback tab under the video tools tab here you can see the format tab and playback tab which are used to edit your videos okay now if you want to resize a video you can do it by clicking and dragging the corner of the video and if you want to delete a video you can just click on delete key after selecting the video or you can just click on backspace key after selecting the video okay so these are the several kinds of operations that can be done on your video clip that we inserted into our presentation so we learned how to insert video clips to our presentation now let's learn more about action buttons so action buttons it is a kind of tool uh, which means they are built in button shapes that can be added to a presentation and it is used to set to link to another slide and it can be used to play a sound or perform other actions during the presentation okay and you can also assign different types of actions to that button that built in button shapes and when you click on it that selected action will be performed okay so let's see how can we insert those action button into your presentation now uh, what we have to do first select the insert tab itself okay and after that click on shapes command in the illustration group here you can see the shape command and select the desired action button from the 
action button category here you can see the action button category at the bottom from that select the desired action button and insert button to slide by clicking desired location so you can see the action setting dialog box will appear and there you can see two tabs one is mouse click and another is mouse over tab and when you select mouse click what does it mean yes the action button will perform its action only when clicked okay when the mouse is clicked okay and the mouse over tab which is used to perform action when you move the mouse over that button that action button when you move the mouse over that action button the action will be performed okay so that is how we use these two tabs and after selecting those options select the hyperlink to radio button click on its drop down arrow and from that choose any option so hyperlink it means it is a connection from one slide to another presentation or any other file or any website or web page okay so here i am going to select the next slide that means if you click on that action button it will go to next slide okay so the connection is to next slide or if you want to link give link to a file created in another program click on the other file option in this drop down arrow yes children so it is through the action button uh, which helps us to give connection to another slide or it can be a connection to other web pages or email address or anything like that okay and children after that if you want to play a sound when action button is clicked what you have to do click on that check box play sound check box here you can see and click on it if you want a sound to play when the action button is clicked okay you can select a sound from the drop down menu or select other sound to use a sound file on your computer and after selecting these all options click on okay button and after that you can view the slide show by pressing f5 and during the presentation you can click on that action button to observe the action yes children so that's about the action button once you do it it will be more clear to you okay read your textbook thoroughly and go through the review test send your answers write down the notes and learn it well okay so that's all for today let's see in the next class with some new topics till then take care bye